Welcome back everybody, this your girl Heavy C. I want to thank all my subscribers, I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, so this is going to be the read for the week, alright, July 1st to the 5th, 2019, alright. Remember this read is general and it's not going to resonate with everybody, okay. I am going out of town, I will be in the ATL around this bitch. So, if you see me or notice me, you know what I'm saying? Just say what's up, all right? So, yeah, let me jump right in. Now, the main energies, okay, for the week, all right? We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. So, some people this week is... Coming to an end of some type of difficult situation. Okay, they're coming to an end. It's like embracing change. Things can only get better from now on. Okay, for certain individuals. They've been going through a lot. And it's like, you know what? The damage has been done. And... You should be getting a clear thought or confirmation from whatever this was, okay? We also have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So some people is going through a difficult time right now. It's like they're getting their way to the Ten of Swords and eventually going to get clarity but right now, it's a lot of worry with motherfuckers, okay? And this could be around a job, money, projects, schooling. It's just a lot of worry, okay? Just can't sleep, just overthinking something dealing with putting time and effort into something. We also have the Ten of Wands clarified by the sun. So... This week, even though it's a lot going on, motherfuckers got to do a lot, okay? Just doing too goddamn much. Needing to ask for help, okay? If, like, they got a lot on their plate, it's like, okay, look, you don't have to act. Let, help, let a motherfucker help you type shit. With the sun here, things will go as planned, okay? Things is going to work out. Right, so if you stress the fuck out this week about you got a lot of shit going on, you doing a lot of shit, just know things will work out in the end. We also have the Knights of Wands, clarified by the Three of Spring and the Star. So I feel like motherfuckers are definitely taking action this week. They going towards what they want. I feel like they not waiting, okay, around. They going towards this, okay? They not waiting for this to come to them. They're going towards this. They're making moves this week, all right? It's like they feel like the star this week. Like, they feel like the star. They got faith and hope in themselves. They got faith and hope in whatever projects they're doing. They got faith and hope in whatever some type of change they're trying to bring into their life. Whatever they got faith and hope in, they taking action towards it, okay, this week. So just know you're going to get clarity this week. You're going to get confirmation this week, especially if you're going through some type of mental headache or mental bullshit where it's like, oh, I just can't stop thinking about this shit. You're going to get clarity at the end of the week. Clarity is coming. Do not worry. All right. Just know things is going to fall through this week. And if you feel like you want to take action this week towards something, take action action towards it if that shit just makes sense let's jump right into this reading okay so now the overall energy for this read this week we got the seven of wands so that's setting up boundaries right that's putting your foot down a motherfucker can't tell you shit all right that's the overall energy it's like you don't want no smoke okay i went deep on that and I got the nine of cups. So this is before, right? So before it was like, okay, I got to make myself happy. I'm doing this on my own. Like only me can make me happy. Okay. I cannot put my happiness into the next 
motherfucking hands around this bitch. All right. That's before dealing with this. So it's like now it's like, yeah, like I'm not changing my mind about that shit. Like I wish I would wait on a motherfucker to make me happy. If that shit just made sense, because I went deep on that and I got the three of wands. So it's like, okay, I wish I would wait on a motherfucker to make me happy. I can go towards my happiness with the ace of pentacles here. It's like, okay, I can, it's an opportunity somewhere. It's like, okay, you know what? Let me move towards this opportunity. Let me move towards this offer. It's like, let me, I'm not going to wait on this offer to come to me or look for me or find me. It's like, let me go to look for it my goddamn self. I went deep on that and I got the King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups. So somewhere dealing with love, somebody is disappointed. I don't know if somebody gave their heart and offered somebody some type of emotional support. And it's like they feel it like this. But in the love department, motherfuckers is disappointed somewhere. I don't know if somebody going towards somebody new and it's like, you know what? Take it as a loss. Or somebody offering to somebody and it's like they not even fucking paying attention to it. It's like they trying to get back to, they worried about the past or something like that. Old relationships, if this is making sense. What else I got is the Eight of Pentacles with this King of Swords and this Six of Pentacles. So somewhere, somebody worked hard, working hard, overworking. And it's like before, it was like they didn't want to be bothered. And it's like now they want to work on something. Okay? This could be dealing with a person. But now it's like, okay, is you getting what you, is you getting the same amount of time and effort that you putting in? Like, is you getting that shit back? Is something balanced out? Is it even? It's like, what is this? So I feel like this could be three different groups of people or one particular person going through this shit. But it's like three different scenarios. Okay, is what I'm picking up. So one of them, a motherfucker is... But it's all about loving yourself, pretty much. But you got a motherfucker who ain't waiting on nobody. It's like, I'm going towards what the fuck I need to go towards. Then you got another motherfucker here who... Is somebody in love, trying to offer love, but it's like somebody is focused on some old relationships. And then you got a motherfucker who trying to put the, who putting work in, putting hard work, putting effort, putting de dedicated to whatever this is. Because before they didn't want to be bothered with it. And it's like now I'm putting work into it. I'm putting time into it. But it's like, am I getting what I put in is the fucking question. So this is like, I don't know, two, three different stories. But the overall is motherfuckers is setting up boundaries right now. Because before, it's like, I had to, like, love myself and make myself happy. It's like accepting that. Not putting your happiness in the next motherfucking hands. And it's like, now, okay, motherfuckers setting up boundaries. Putting their foot down. Like, motherfuckers don't want no smoke around this bitch. If that shit just made sense. Now... The situation for the weekend, okay? You got the emperor. So, I don't know if this is dealing with somebody older. We got the emperor, the king of wands here in the situation. Um, I don't know if motherfuckers is trying to, like, try to put their happiness in this person's hands, okay? But, it's like, this person before, I don't know if this person, like, needed to take a vacation or tried to lay something to rest or you tried to make peace with this person before. And it's like, okay, now you really not, it's like, okay, trying to offer somebody something but not offering it. It's like you see the four pinnacles is like selfish. I don't know if this person is selfish or you selfish towards this person. But it's like, you see the cup, the fish is still in the cup. So it ain't like, the offer is still on the table. Like, a motherfucker still got the offer in their fucking hand. Like, they still holding on to whatever the offer is. But before dealing with this person, it was like trying to lay something to rest, trying to make peace with it. 
But I feel like right now, dealing with the situation, somebody is holding on to an offer, to their feelings, not opening up this week, if that is making sense. Because what's crossing that is the sun. So it's like, okay, I'm trying to think positive. I was like, okay, I want to be happy this week. I don't want no drama because we got the five of swords with the five of wands. So that's like conflict, drama, just extra shit. It's like a motherfucker's putting on the goddamn show because before... Motherfuckers really wasn't, it was like, okay, this person ain't got the offer in their hand. Once again, it's like, okay, should I even go offer this person this? It's like that shit. So before this person wasn't really offering shit. And it's like now dealing with this shit, it's like, okay, you know what? I don't want, this week, I just want to be happy and just stay positive, like, I want to rest. This could be vacation. It's like an offer is still here, but a motherfucker is not offering it. If that shit is making sense. Let's keep this shit moving. Now, what's sitting on the foundation? We got the six of swords. So that's moving forward. Okay. Moving forward mentally. Before the nine of pentacles. So it's like, okay, moving on with yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like before you've been doing this by yourself. So now it's time to move forward. You you can move forward with this person or without this person. If that is making sense. What's sitting, what else is sitting on this foundation is the Ten of Wands. So somebody willingly carrying something. Okay, they, they carrying it because they want to fucking carry it. Because they got the star here. They got faith and hope in whatever they carrying. What else is sitting on this foundation is the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Swords. So this is like somebody juggling finances, somebody stressing. Okay, before they stressing about finances, okay, juggling finances, juggling people, making a decision. It's a lot of worry. Before it was a lot of worry. Okay, now it's still worry. Somebody's still worried about some shit, dealing with money. Juggling something. If this is making sense, I feel like this is all over the place, but hopefully y'all tap the fuck in. Now, where this is coming from, this is coming from temperance and the lovers. So this is coming from patience, for one. And then we got the before, the lovers. So you see them two people is like, okay, he like, come on, I got you. She like, mm, nah, I'm setting up my boundaries. You see what I'm saying? Like, what? So this is coming from being patient maybe with a relationship. Well, motherfucker wasn't 100% there. That's where this is coming from. And it's like, okay, now dealing with this shit, motherfuckers like learning to move forward independently type shit. Motherfuckers still holding on to something that they got faith and hope in. It's like somebody juggling something that they, they're stressing them the fuck out. If this shit is making sense because what's crowning this is the Ten of Swords. So this is like, once again, the damage is done. It's like, okay, you know what? Let me embrace this change, okay? This could have been like the ending to a difficult fucking situation. But it's an ending. Because before, it was like shit that was hidden wasn't so hidden, okay? Like you could see what the fuck was hidden type shit. And then the hermit. Now, so this is leading to a motherfucker may not even want to be bothered with a motherfucker after all of this. Like, that's what motherfuckers is thinking. Dealing with the damage is done. And this is the ending of a difficult situation. And it's like, okay, clarity is coming up. Just know that. Because a motherfucker is looking at this situation like the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be something dealing with a traditional relationship. Somebody could already be married in a relationship. Got some type of foundation. Because before, motherfuckers looking at it like the Four of Cups. So, before, motherfuckers was looking at it like, you know what, let me love myself before I try to offer anything to somebody. That's how motherfuckers was looking at it before. And it's like, now motherfuckers looking at it like this Ten of Pentacles here. So, this could be, yeah, this person could be already in some type of marriage. And you could have been trying to, like... Hope that this person can make you happy, but it's like just make yourself happy because it's like you've been making yourself happy. Don't put your happiness in nobody else's fucking hands if that shit is making sense. Because 
What's around this is the Four of Wands. Okay, so this is some type of marriage. This is some type of coming together. Because before, it's the Six of Wands. So before, it was like, okay, maybe a motherfucker really wasn't honoring this relationship or honoring a marriage or like felt like they didn't deserve to be put on that pedestal okay because maybe they was in some type of relationship and they could have been cheating or you know what i'm saying and it's like i don't deserve to even be put up on this throne type of shit but it's like now motherfucker could be ready to celebrate something because because um, hope and fear is the lovers, once again, with the Knight of Wands. So somebody could be hoping, like, somebody, this relationship moves forward. And some type of action get took moving forward, okay? Now, this is all leading to the Ace of Swords. So, like I said, clarity is coming. After all this... A motherfucker get clarity, a motherfucker get confirmation, a motherfucker get, even get cut the fuck out. Because I went deep on that, and I got the nine of wands. So somebody willing to fight for something, somebody willing to stand up for something or somebody. Okay, we got the four swords. So this is laying something to rest, having a peace of mind. Okay, it's like, you know what, just making peace with this shit. I went deep on that, and I got the seven of pentacles. So, this is definitely dealing with trying to see some results. So, somebody could have been patiently waiting, trying to see some results. See if they was going to, something was going to change dealing with the situation. But I feel like motherfuckers ain't got clarity. You're going to get clarity about a situation that you in. Whether you the person a motherfucker is cheating on with, or you the person that they cheated, that they, you either the person that they cheated on with or you the person that they cheated on that type of shit okay whoever you whatever the case may be you're gonna get confirmation this week in is gonna be clear clarity okay because before this could have been some third party shit before this could have been okay a motherfucker was only thinking about other people and and it was like not really focusing on themselves okay it's like she she trying to make sure they straight it's like is you straight why motherfucker couldn't hold your cup too you know what i'm saying your shit on the damn ground some motherfucking well why she couldn't hold your cup in, in her hand hold both of the bitches you know what i'm saying before we got the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. So before it was like, okay, motherfuckers wasn't giving nothing away. No attention, no time, no nothing before. And it's like coming up, the future dealing with that. It's like, okay, gaining confidence, gaining strength, speaking truth, loving yourself. Somebody need to love themselves before they can love any fucking body. Looking towards your future. Somebody is walking the fuck away they looking towards their future. So just know it's clarity this week for a lot of motherfuckers. So it don't matter where you in, what side you what side you on, it's gonna be clarity this fucking week. Clear communication. After this. We got judgment. So this is dealing with a final decision. Motherfuckers have to make a decision this week. Final decision, okay? Motherfuckers are stressed the fuck out about that shit. A lot of worry about making a goddamn decision. Somebody definitely got to make a choice. Which way am I finna go dealing with this situation? The situation where a motherfucker is trying to take something in control or trying to control the situation. This is definitely trying to control the situation with the emperor here. And the king of wands. This is too much ego in this situation. Somebody trying to trying to control the situation, but trying to be at peace with it at the same goddamn time. Want to offer somebody something, but not offering it. If that is making sense, holding on to the offer. 
We got the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Before, it was potential somewhere. It was like working on it, really getting it. Somebody was really getting this. Somebody really got the potential. They was like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm finna really do this. But then you got the Two of Swords with the Empress. Somebody is definitely finna make a decision. Two people could be fighting for somebody. And somebody needs to make a decision. But I feel like somebody gonna make a decision. And we got the Empress here. So... Whatever is on the table, it's a lot. It's a big offer. This ain't no bullshit ass offer. We got the empress on the motherfucking table. But by a motherfucker being the empress and you knowing your motherfucking work, ain't no way in hell you should be fighting for any motherfucking body. Ain't no way in hell a motherfucker's supposed to be any, mini money mowing your motherfucking ass. Your ass make a goddamn decision. And pick you the empress. So you have motherfuckers line the fuck up. And you pick whoever the fuck is qualified for your motherfucking ass. Who is worth your motherfucking time. And your motherfucking energy. Don't you ever let a motherfucker try to make a decision about you. You know your fucking worth. And you worth more than a motherfucker playing any, mini, mighty, mo catch a tiger bass toe type shit. You see what I'm saying? Know your fucking work. So, yeah, that's really all I got, y'all. So, yeah. Thumbs the fuck up. <laughs> if you like the tip heaven, you already know, y'all. Because I'm finna, I'm finna relax this motherfucking week, okay? I'm finna enjoy myself. I'm finna just kick it with friends and just chill this week. So, if you like to tip me, you know what I'm saying? Send me a couple of dollars so I can give me a couple of drinks, a couple of shots around this bitch. I would truly appreciate it. So, yeah, sit from having 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Thumbs the fuck up. Peace out.